Hello everyone, this is Ninja Girl Socket One here, back with my Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets Let's Play for the Game Boy Color. And last time, a lot of stuff happened again. Uh, Harry, Ron, and Hermione did manage to get the ingredients out of Snape's storeroom that they needed for the Polyjuice Potion, but Snape was kind of wise to what they were up to, so he decided to have Harry Duel Malfoy, since he can't actually punish him, since Snape had no proof that Harry, Ron, and Hermione were the ones who went in and did all that and caused the ruckus in class. So yeah, we had the duel, that went well, but afterward, Malfoy used a spell that summoned a snake, and it revealed that Harry is in fact a parcel mouth, or a person who can talk to snakes. Which you would think would be normal for a wizard, but actually, it's not common among witcher wizards. It's only a talent that Salazar Slytherin had. Which now makes everyone think that Harry is the heir of Slytherin. But, uh, yeah. Of course he isn't. And we gotta prove it. So, of course they're gonna get the Polyjuice Potion done. And all they need now, to finish it actually, is a piece of hair from Crab and Goyle. And Hermione came up with a brilliant idea to trick them. Challenge them to a duel and give them the cake that'll make them sleep so we can get the hair we need. So let's get a move on. And I looked up how to get that stupid wizard card. I might make a save state because I wanted to have all the wizard cards. So. But I'll see if I can just get it on the first go when we uh, go to the next part after this. Oh, I'm still gonna finish that little quest with uh, Ginny. But, yeah, again, all you would get is uh, Petrificus Totalis from Katie Bell in the hospital, and we already have it, I think. It may be still locked, because we might still have to get it from her, kind of. Like, the, the skill will be on your spell list, but you gotta wait to actually get it from Katie Bell to use it, maybe. Because that's the way it worked with uh, Expelliarmus. I wanted to use it with Malfoy and Camp, because you don't actually... You're not supposed to get that spell till after you fight Malfoy, so... But let's duel these two idiots. I'm sure we can get the best of these lunkheads. Hey, what's up? Hello, Crab. Hello, Goyle. What do you want? We just wondered if you'd be interested in a bit of a wizard's duel. Why would we want to duel you two? There's a chocolate cake in it for the winner, but if you don't think you can beat us without Draco being here, we don't need Draco to be you eh, to be Gryffindors. See you in the dueling club. Oh boy. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> Didn't take that much convincing, now did it? All right, let's go. I'm way overleveled, so this should be a cakewalk. <laughs> and then, we'll let them eat cake. <laughs> they won't know what hit him. Alright, you fumbling idiots. Let's do it. You ready? Let's go. Beyond ready. Let's see now. How about, since we should be having a lock now, who wants to use it on? Don't matter. Ready? Expelliarmus! Nice! Ron, can you use it? Yes, you can. You take him! Oh no! Oh! Ooh, that had to hurt. <laughs> They're not even trying! Ooh, that was pretty good though. Alright, fine, leave it to me. Since you and your wand backfire all the time, Expelliarmus! And, not bad. Try again, Ron. Land the spell. There you go. See, it's not too bad. You got it. A few more hits and there's dead meat. Alright, come on. They're nearly down. Sort of. At least one of them is. Alright, Harry. Take him out. And... Bye bye Alright. Get him! You're gonna lose. 
One shot. Foolish. Didn't do anything to me. Foolish of you. This duel is over. Expelliarmus! We win! Duh. <laughs> Ooh, Grand Pepper Up Potion, not bad. Nice try! Just so there are no hard feelings, have some chocolate cake! Like I said, let him eat cake. Why don't you want the cake? Because we have, um, pudding, yes. We have pudding. We like pudding much better than cake. Hmm, alright then. They are so dense! So beyond dense! Cake. Cake. Grunt. <laughs> Ugh. Idiots! You fools! <laughs> Quick, let's hide them! Well, I think we know where to hide them. Real love it! Let's do it. Got it. Check and check. Ugh. Those two are heavy. Let's get the hair back to Moaning Myrtles. Yep, let's do it. Easy victory, I tell ya. They're... They are such dunderheads. To be that easily fooled. Draco was pompous, but I don't think he would have fallen for that at least. It would have been too obvious to him. Why Malfoy has people like Crime and Goyle around, I have no idea. They're so stupid. Alright. Hermione, work your magic, dear. You know what to do. The most brilliant witch in all of Hogwarts. Well, at least in her grade. Because clearly she... There are other witches and wizards much stronger than her, but... She is definitely the smartest in all of Harry's grade. So... Here are the bits of Crab and Goyle. Got it. Let her do her thing. By the way, who are you going to be? Millicent Bulstrode. I plucked some hair from her from a chuffer when she wasn't looking. Ah, clever. Now to see if I did it right. Which, of course, she's brilliant. She did. She's just the best. Come on. Clearly. <laughs> Ugh, disgusting. Perfect. You two look exactly like Crab and Goyle. Um... Hermione! Hermione! You're a cat! And you're a couple of pigs! But that only means it worked! No! Seriously! You have fur, whiskers, pointy ears, everything! Oh no! I'm, it must have been cat's hair I plucked from her jumper! Jumper is a sweater, by the way. You can't go like that! You're right! You to go! I'll stay! Maybe washing my face will do some good! How are you going to wash? Oh, never mind. Let's go. Oh. Oh, Hermione. <laughs> I feel so bad for her. Oh my gosh. That's so bad. She's a cat. And she can't fix it right away. Oh. That would be so bad. Oh. Poor thing. I'm sure she'll be fine. It just sucks right now, that's for sure. Okay. Please let me be able to get that stupid wizard card, I swear. I want to have every card in the game. Okay. Oh no, here comes Snape. Don't look at him. Maybe he'll just walk on by. I doubt it. Doyle, crap, come here. We know what we know that Slytherin is down here. All we have to do is find it. Good luck. Um, Grunt. Enjoying the holidays, boys? Oh, Grunt, Grunt. <laughs> I'm surprised you're not with Draco. You three lads are thick as thieves. <clears throat> no one's thicker than us. Literally. <laughs> well, off with you now. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Um... Well, about that. <laughs> okay. I'd rather not think about what he wouldn't do. At least we know he makes a convinc- Eh, we make- A convincing cry of Goyle. Let's find the Slytherin Cumber. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I swear the card is definitely 
It has to be in here. Draco. It's gotta be in the common room. I think, yeah, it said be beside him when we go in here. Where have you two been? Um, uh, mostly shoving people about. Come with me to the common room. I have something you should, uh, something to show you. Good, I mean, right. Pure blood. Ugh. Figures. Okay, um, yeah, I'm going to make a safe state. Um, okay, I did that before. Yes. Okay. Just so if I don't get it, I can try my own time to find it. Beside him? Where beside him exactly? Okay, please be it. Ah! That wasn't it. Unless I took the wrong deck with me. Where is it then? Seriously? I either took the wrong deck or did something incredibly wrong. What am I missing with that? I'll have to figure it out on my own. I swear, what are... What am I doing so wrong? I'll try again on my own. Here's what I wanted to show you. The newest daily profit. It says, Arthur Weasley was fined 850 sickles for enchanting a car. <laughs> That's not funny. The Weasleys, I'm sure most of you know, if you're a fan of this Harry Potter franchise, you know they are not a rich family. That is not anything funny. Well, why aren't you laughing? Oh. That's not funny, you jerk. I'm surprised the Prophet hasn't covered the attacks here. Dumbledore is probably hushing it up. Maybe he thinks he's protecting Potter, as if he could possibly be Slytherin's heir. We know who it really is, right? Are you serious? Nobody knows. If I knew who it was, I could help them. Don't know why they're keeping it a secret. You don't suspect anyone or know anything about the chamber? No, and Fonda won't speak about the last time the chamber was opened. I do know a mudblood was killed then. I hope it's Granger this time. Malfoy? You! You! Now, it's war. Nobody says that about Hermione and gets away with it. I seriously will destroy you for that. Why, you, uh, may have a point. Nice cover. What's wrong with you? Yes, Goyle, you are not looking yourself. No, not yourself at all. Why are you talking like that? What's going on? Um, it's my stomach. Yes. Ow, it hurts so much. Nice. I'll take you to the hospital wing. No need to come along, Draco. Indeed, there isn't. I hate the sight of sick people. <sighs> Dang, he's such a little twit. That was close. We'd better get back to Moaning Myrtles. I agree with you. Let's move. Let's get out of here. Ah, don't be stuck there. Alright, let's get to the, uh, bathroom. Report what we have found out to... Dear Hermione, uh, but it looks like we were wrong. Malfoy's not the heir, although it would certainly fit. But we're incorrect. But he agrees with what the heir is doing, little twit that he is. Such a little... Ugh. He's so jealous that Hermione is so much better than him at everything. That's what it comes down to. How did it go? Malfoy isn't the heir, and he doesn't know who is. So, we're no further than we were before. Sadly, no. Sorry, Hermione. I wish we'd save some cake. I'm starving. I could do with a bit of fish myself. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. Phew, that's better. Being a Slytherin itch. Ugh. Yeah, I bet it would. 
Wait a minute. What's this? Huh. Tom Riddle's diary. Interesting. Wonder who that is, hmm? It's a diary. An old one. Property of Tom Marvolo Riddle. Who's he? I've heard the name before. I saw a trophy he won for special services to the school, but that was 50 years ago. Then how did this get here? Get here now. Might as well take it along, I suppose. We'd better get back to Gryffindor before lights out. Hello? She can't? Wait! I can't go out looking like this! How long will it take for you will it take you to change back to normal? The polyjuice potion wasn't meant for animal transformations. It could take weeks to change back. Oh. Well, you can't just stay in this bathroom for the rest of Christmas break. Ron's right. Let's get you up to the hospital wing. Maybe Madame Pomfrey can turn you back to normal. One would hope. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do to, to speed the transformation. What am I supposed to do? I can't very well go around looking like a cat. You'll just have to stay here until the potion wears off. Don't tell anybody else what happened to me. I don't want anybody to know. Yeah, they cut they cut this out of the movie, except for a deleted scene, but yeah. In the book and everything, she does go to the hospital wing and stay there until this wears off. The poor thing. Your secret's safe with us, Hermione. We'll come by and visit you every day, and we'll bring plenty of milk and tuna. Shut up, Ron. Seriously, shut up. He's so annoying. That's just my opinion of him, though. I know he's somewhat popular, but no, not to me. <laughs> I don't like him. This place looks terrible. What's going on? Professor Lockhart is sponsoring a Valentine's Day party. He's probably just in it for the cards. I wonder if he'll get as many from others as he gets from as he gets from himself. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, Gilderoy for you. Attention, please! First, I would like to thank the 46 people who sent me valentines. Hermione, don't tell me you were one of the 46. Of course, I'm not. Hermione, I thought you were getting fed up with him. Ugh. You, you're too good, Hermione. Come on, you're too smart for this. And... As an added surprise, these card-carrying cupids will be delivering valentines throughout the day. Good grief. Let's hide before something embarrassing happens. Please. Yeah, please. Ugh. Well. <laughs> Ugh. Valentines. Oh, hey. Happy Valentine's Day, Harry. Our Potter. Oh no! Oh boy. Oh, this is hilarious. It's your name, Potter. Um, no. Nothing like it. I'm... Bartholomew... Mashing... Mashing... <laughs> is that it? Oh my god. Asking... Where... Where... Where formality? I know you're Harry Potter. Uh, a special Valentine's poem for you. His eyes are as green as a fresh pickled toad. His hair is dark as a blackboard. I think he's divine. I wish he was mine. The boy who defeated the Dark Lord. <laughs> Tipping's customary, but you look too, too humiliated, so I'll let it pass this time. Oh, yeah, this is yeah, this is in the book, not in the movie. That was interesting. Yeah, I'll say. I'll say it was. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Harry, I never noticed before, but your eyes are as green as a fresh pickled toad, and your hair is as dark as a blackboard. Will all of you just forget about that poem, please? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, Ginny, I don't think Potter liked your valentine very much. Yep, that came from Ginny. <laughs> Malfoy, come on, don't make it worse for her. Come on, that's not fair. I think I'll go to bed early tonight. 
Maybe I can study Riddle's diary for a while before the other students arrive. Good luck. I'll see you in the morning, Harry. Good night. Bye, Hermione. See you later. Oh, my god. <laughs> okay, well, that was, uh, eventful, wouldn't you say? <laughs> uh, but I think that will do it for this part. Oh, man. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was pretty darn funny. But, um, next time I guess we'll take a look at the mysterious diary. And hopefully I'll screen out find that stupid no good card that I want. But anyway, again, hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys next time when we look through that diary. Till then, see you later!